Philip Paul from HSBC Global Asset Management joins me now to discuss how we can take advantage of what's going on with, with commodities. Hi, Philip. Thanks for joining us today. You're basically saying the wheat price shock strengthens the investment case for emerging market currencies. What's the, the rationale behind that? The rationale really is that uh, food prices uh, are obviously going up gen more generally. It's not just about wheat. Uh, food is a very important part of CPI baskets. In some countries, it's more than 40% of those baskets compared to, say, 10 or 15% in the developed world. Uh, and so uh, as uh, food prices go up, one way of countering that um, uh, pressure is to allow currencies to appreciate. But you can't allow currencies to appreciate too much, can you? Because that'll put you at a disadvantage relative to your your neighbouring competitors. That's absolutely true. Um, but I think this pressure, this supply side shock, makes it more likely that uh, currencies where the carry is attractive will also be allowed to appreciate. What's happened really is that the central banks in the emerging world, in many of these countries, have been raising rates. That's created a, a, an interesting investment opportunity in itself, mm -hmm. but currencies have not been allowed to move because of intervention. And so I guess this supply side shock makes it more likely that we'll see appreciation as a second leg, if you like, of, the, of that currency trade. Because countries are already raising interest rates and the likes of India. So as you say, that's already set the focus Absolutely. on emerging market currencies. Yeah. But it's not just about wheat, is it, is it, Philip? Because a lot of other commodities, a lot of other various food ingredients could also be swept along. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you look at the price of barley, the price of barley has gone up a lot. Uh, Russia and Ukraine are big exporters of barley uh, into the European market. So that in turn, as a feedstock, pushes up meat prices. We'll see substitution into pasta, into rice. Uh, so even though the Asian uh, food importers import uh, rice, it's quite possible, of course, that rice prices also uh, go higher. And we forget that, and we forget that, of course, there are political consequences, aren't there, to, to rising inflation as we witnessed a couple of years ago? Absolutely, yes. I mean, inside the emerging world, inflation uh, is, is, a, is a highly political issue. Uh, and we've seen governments fall as a result of that. We've seen food riots in the past. And so I think politicians will have to take note. Philip, thanks for joining us today. Philip Poole there from HSBC Global Asset Management.